Between 20 and 30 percent of women in their childbearing years have them, fibroid tumors. It's possible they don't even know it. A fibroid is a benign mass that occurs within the uterus, and it's monoclonal, meaning it's one cell that just replicates itself over and over and over again, and they can be small, like the size of a piece of rice, or giant like a cantaloupe. Fibroids may present problems in pregnancy, first in conceiving. If there are large numbers of fibroids that are all within the lining of the uterus, called the endometrium, then it can make it difficult for a pregnancy to implant. The second complication, if they are growing near the tube or where the tube comes into the uterus, can kind of block off that, that entrance. If a woman becomes pregnant, they may impact her ability to carry. If they have a very large fibroid, then that can become a complication later in pregnancy. And so depending on the clinical situation, some patients are recommended to have their fibroid removed, not because it may impact their ability to get pregnant, but may make their pregnancy slightly more complicated. Should they stay or should they go? It's a question many women with fibroids ask themselves, especially if they're considering a family. A myomectomy is a surgery that removes the fibroids without removing your options. So if you're looking, okay, I still may want to have children in the future, the myomectomy allows you to still maintain your uterus, but treat the, the problem that's presenting at this point in time. The procedure can be performed robotically which promotes faster healing with less downtime. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.